This is the IMDb Show presented by our friends at Kellogg's. Lance Reddick, welcome to the show, my friend. Thank you. John Wick 3. I've been a fan of that since the first one. Did you ever imagine that your character would have that path? Like, what were your expectations? I never imagined there would be more than one film. It was a little bit under the radar. It was kind of independent. On that, we agree. Let's talk about your character, Charon. We met you as a hotel manager. And now, so much more. The character was just the kind of character that I never get to play. Do you expect him to make it out? Ever since The Wire. That's where I knew oh. you from, The Wire. Oh, I'm so happy you brought that up. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> what valuable information did we acquire from this situation? But ever since The Wire, I've played a lot of intimidating authority figures that talk a lot. Uh -huh. <laughs> so to play kind of this a quintessential servant who's very taciturn, uh, I found fascinating. How good to see you again so soon, Mr. Week. What was something that you created for that character in his backstory that you kept in your back pocket for the performance? Chad, the director, he said this to me my first day of shooting on the first film. He said, you always want to get a sense from Sharon that if anything went down, he could reach under the table and grab the shotgun and take care of business. I, however, would be willing to accept the responsibility. Keanu in my world has always been a legend. We always feel like we know so much about him. Really? Because I feel like we know actually very little about Keanu. I let you in! I was a good guy! I'm a good father! Well, I guess we think we know what he allows us to know. Exactly. I don't even know. Yeah. So tell me something, working with him for three movies, what is something that you learned about him that you were super impressed by? I've dealt with a lot of egos. Whenever I'm working with a, a big movie star that I've never worked with, I'm always uh, leery of, am I going to have to figure out some game to protect my work? Not at all with Keanu. It has been a pleasure, Mr. Week. Just how thoughtful and quiet he is. He thinks about things a lot. He's a contemplative kind of human being. All we are is dust in the wind, dude. Let's talk about another film that you have coming out, Angel Has Fallen. There's been an assassination an attempt on the president. Drone. The president's top guardian angel has fallen. I'm playing David Gentry, who is the head of the Secret Service. My thought was, oh, head of the Secret Service? No, I do not need to play another head guy in law enforcement. And you played it a couple of times. But <laughs> <laughs> You've done some solid work here. New president in this one, actually, Morgan Freeman. Yes, yeah. so Morgan, it's interesting, his trajectory, because he keeps, he keeps getting promoted in each film. So the first one, he's the Speaker of the House, the second one, he's the Vice President, now he's the President. Yeah, I mean, you can't really talk. In one of your roles, uh, you started off as like Captain, then Major, then Colonel. I'm, of course, yeah, talking about- Yeah, one of those uh, cop shows, which one? Yeah, of course, it was- The Wire. You said your days, but I mostly go by Lieutenant. What is it, do you think, about The Wire that still remains so special in everyone's heart? And did you know that it was that going to be that special when you're making it? I knew it was going to be that good. From, I mean, as a matter of fact, to this day, it's the only pilot that I've ever read that I thought I have to be on the show. I didn't even know what role to play. I just knew I wanted to be on that show. What did you see in that pilot that instantaneously It, it read like knew? the first chapter of a novel. I can't be any clearer about it than that. What do you miss the most about playing Daniels? Nothing. Nothing? No, good. I mean- Just put him to bed, done? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was a great, it was a great, character and a great experience, and when we were finished, I was ready to move on. I'll swallow a lie when I have to. I've swallowed a few big ones lately. Listen, we reached out to Twitter, and one of the big questions that came through was your work on Bosch. At Work Doers FC had a question. You have a memorable way of saying Bosch in an exasperated or disapproving way that makes me chuckle every time. Was that written into the script, or did you develop this? <laughs> Well, until I questioned, I didn't know I had a special way of saying it, so uh, I guess I developed it. Bush, 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 Bush. Let's take this one step further. I'm gonna give you a couple of quick scenarios. Okay. And I want you to use your classic character acting training to just say the word, you gotta convey emotion in just that word, Bosch. Okay. A crime has happened. You know who did it, but Bosch lost an important piece of evidence. What do you say to him? <laughs> Stop smiling. Stop looking, don't right, look at me, man. Okay. Bosch. <laughs> okay. All right, you're in a room full of kids. Bosch is about to make an inappropriate comment. Stop him. Bosch! It's raining. You're holding Bosch's limp body in your arms. You look up to the sky and you say... <laughs> Bosch! I'm here to show my support. 